Eugenie Scott calls creationist claims of weakness in evolutionary theory nonsense. But because she thinks science education is at stake, she is frustrated that most scientists do not take the creationist controversy seriously. Scott is executive director of the National Center for Science Education in Berkeley. Its mission is to fight creationist advances in the classroom. My, my biggest problem with the scientific community is getting these people's attention. You know, the, the old story about the mule and two-by-four. I keep trying to wield that two-by-four and get scientists to pay attention to the fact that kids coming up in K-12 through education are actually being taught that people and dinosaurs lived at the same time. I mean, there, there's all kinds of nonsense that's going on in K-12 education, and the scientific community isn't really paying a whole lot of attention. You've characterized your struggle as a David and Goliath battle, and you're David. You bet your socks. <laughs> um, here we are at the National Center for Science Education, the clearinghouse, I mean, the organization that is set up to get information out to people about how to counter scientific creationism. We're on the second floor of a building. The, below us is a Mexican restaurant. Next door is a cement factory. This is a pretty modest operation, let's face it. Um, periodically, when... Um, uh, Dwayne Gish and I uh, do radio shows or something like that. Um, he'll say something like, um, "Well, evolution is just as religious as uh, evolution is just as religious as creationism." And I keep wanting to say to him, "Then how come I've got three thousand people on my mailing list and you've got a hundred thousand? And nobody gets salvation from accepting evolution." How and where have the creationists been successful? They've been successful primarily in the suburbs and small towns in the United States. And um, in small communities, if you have only less than 5%, say, of the people, or less than 10% of the people showing up for bothering to vote for school board elections, that can, that can be two or three big fundamentalist churches that vote as a block. They've got the election. And it's very important to teach evolution, too. It's um, Something I think that the creationists don't really understand is how evolution does tie together so much of modern science. Uh, a very famous geneticist named Theodosius Dobzhansky once said that nothing in biology makes sense except in the light of evolution. That everything in biology is just a bunch of separate little bits and facts and pieces of information, piles of facts is what he called them, unless you have something to tie all those facts together. And that's what evolution does. Uh, and evolution is also important in, in physics and in astronomy and in geology. I mean, it, it cuts across the entire curriculum. If you say, take evolution out of the curriculum, you're not giving kids modern science. You really aren't. A recent poll indicated that 46% of Americans did not believe in evolution. What does that tell you? You have to be careful about how you ask that question. Um, the, if you ask people, do you believe in creationism? almost 90-some you know, percent of Americans will say yes. Uh, but that would include also people that I would call and that call themselves theistic evolutionists. I mean, the mainline Protestants and the Catholics and uh, the um, Reformed Jews uh, and everybody, but I think the, the Orthodox Jews, uh, accept evolution as the way God brought the world about. Now, are those people creationists or evolutionists? But still, you'd have to grant that if a large majority of the American pos population is skeptical, about evolution, and as you said earlier, evolution is the linchpin holding a lot of mm -hmm. science together. Uh, science education is in trouble. I think that tells you a lot about science education, doesn't it? And I, I used to teach college, and I lay the fault directly at the foot of college professors. Let's look at it this way. If high school students are not learning evolution, it's because their high school biology teachers are not teaching it. If high school biology teachers don't know anything about evolution, it's the fault of the college professors who aren't teaching it. They just assume that, um, that um, you know, obviously evolution is the, is the founding principle, the uniting principle of biology. But you've got you've to pass that on specifically, uh, unambiguously, and they don't do that.